ladies and gentlemen. He stopped. He stopped his engagement in Las Vegas, Nevada, to come to be with his friend, Mrs. Mary Williams and Choice. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the one, the only, Greg Cooper. Mother's Day. Everybody give yourselves a great big round of applause. The mothers! Hey, you mother! Big payback. Oh, man, I want to thank you all. Miss Mary, she's such a fascinating lady. This lady, boy, is a rare person to know. I hope everybody appreciates her friendship as much as I do. You're a wonderful person. All of these mothers! Okay, give me a little volume, man. You know I have death good. I can't. <sighs> Mary, this one's for you. It's a bit of a ride in sports. This was last night. Poor Shane. He, he lost, but a man goes down as long as he gives up a good fight. What would Ali say if he was here with all these mothers? How could he say? Can you get a little stopper? Can you even drama? Of athletic competition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ABC. Why? Well, move over a little bit, Tony. I know everybody got to be safe now. Hello. Lord have mercy and thanks to us, all the leader, all the brothers and sisters who come to my fights. I want to say the hello to Miss Mary. She's a wonderful person. She's a great fighter in her own right. She's always helping people like me all around the world. And tomorrow night I'll be paying homage to Joe Frazier. He was an ugly fighter and he thought he whooped me. But I told him I was the greatest of all time. Of course, let's ask Joe that same question. Joe, how did you feel about going against Ali 30 years ago today? Well, uh, First of all, I called him with the left hook, yeah, and, Jai, and Jai, he called me a gorilla. I told him I wouldn't no gorilla, so I get him with the left hook. Thank you, Joe. I didn't understand a damn thing you said, but we'll be right in back in 60 seconds after a word from our sponsor. Let's talk to Mike Tyson. Mike, why did you bite Evander Holyfield? Why did you feel like you needed something else to eat? Well, first of all, I didn't think I had anything to lose. I mean, it was totally ludicrous, but it did to me. And I was thinking about Robin. I didn't know. I should have asked Miss Mary to give me a popsicle or something. I didn't know. <sighs> Anyway, man, I ain't gonna take too long. I'm a horse, I'm ready. Hey! I'm so glad we came up in a wonderful era. I know they got R. Kelly now. I love them, brother. They got some beautiful cats. But I can't believe, I, I thank the Lord about four of my life, and you're like, Michael Jackson's gone, man. Hey? Ollie Woodson, James Brown left here. He's in soul heaven. So I want them to pay homage to all these wonderful mothers in the house tonight simply because I got the charisma to dare to do this. No, nobody else think about these brothers like me. I love them. I was in the hospital with Jackie, man, one time. And I, I fed him to a straw, man. I thought that was the greatest thing. You know how the white boys get their face done like Elvis. Remember, they got a Marvin Gaye, they know. But you don't see no Elvis, I mean, no Otis Redding sightings. No, uh, 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 Gene Chandler sightings. No, Marvin Gaye, you know what I mean. Yeah, well, Mel, set me up, baby. Set me up with some track, too. Mel, that's okay. Not right there, but since you got a plan, let it play. Just think of James Cagney and them had a club in the 30s and they weren't playing Mitch Miller, Cab Calloway, but they had soul music. And they said, hey, let that little short guy come up, the one that screams a lot. Hey, you, come in. I want you to sing it. Stop screaming, will ya? <laughs> come on, man. Give me, give me CD2. That's all right, because me and Mel ain't working in a minute. Man, give me CD2. Real quick, man. Kill come on. I'm deaf, y'all can't hear what it is. Yeah, you still with me? <laughs> no, I like when Michael get there. Michael got there from Jack. You know, see, they don't do like that. No, they scream in. <laughs> and Teddy. Yes! The old J's, they growl. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Okay, come on, let's give them a sample. Oh! 
down, we just get happy to say, I think I, I believe I, sometime I gotta say. Wow. What? Craig, you're the bomb.com. Hey. Hey. <laughs> they always say I look like Michael Kaya, but hey, I, I, it's Greg Cooper. Thank you so Greg much. Greg Cooper you. is in the house. Yeah, but anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. Just we do going to see you. you. Sorry for talking. We, we have some special guests, but before I get started, I'm going to just say my co host, Miss. Denise Mitchum. Hey, in the house. In the house. Patricia McDougal on the scene. On the scene. Yeah. And my man, Love it, Greg Machine. Cooper. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Okay. He's in okay. the And I got my girl up in here. Jamie McAllister <laughs> on the scene with Patricia McDougal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. And we're Mr. Yes. Greg. So. Hey. <laughs> and Skip has arrived. Hey. Mama. Skip, what's up? Right. We're going to give him two minutes and we're going to bring him on. How about that? Okay. That's so tell us. Thank you, sir. Take your time. So let's talk about my man, Greg. Oh, you got you coming to me. Let's right talk about away. my man. Yeah, right away. We, okay. We just showed some videos and some of the, um, the background and the history uh, a little bit. We didn't talk about it because we're going to leave that for Skip. <laughs> <laughs> have to have Skip come behind the room or something. Okay. Because Skip got all the answers, right? Okay, yeah. I, I you hope so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so okay. talk about my man. Okay, okay, Pat. And, uh, He's Pat, a singer. Is, He's a, tell, let me tell you a little bit. Well, yeah. He's I, a singer? Oh, yeah, yeah. You set it up, and I'll try to answer what you want me to answer. You're right. I'm going ahead of you. Wait, hold up. He's yeah. a singer, yeah. and he's a comedian. Well, somewhat. Right. You know, Pat, I started out, I had to do that because, you know, when I, I love soul music back in the so-called day, you know, during the 70s and 80s. And, you know, in order to get on shows with the Temptations and Gladys Knight, you know, they didn't want the cats to sing and do what I do. Cause I gave them energy, I gave them voices, gave them different things. And I was a period type of guy. So my style was basically like a mixture of Rich Little and, um, what's my man, uh, uh, Rich Little and... And, uh, That's all other, right. Uh, what is the it? The impressionist. Oh, uh, okay, I okay. Yeah, the, the, the impressionist uh, guy. I can't think of his name. Frank Gorsh. Frank. All of these oh, guys. Oh, you know, yes, uh, yes. I get no respect at all. You know, I can't do it. Uh, I love these girls. Look at them. Look at them. Uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. I want to keep going. Wow, anyway, wow. But, we love you, boy. I, yeah, when you up there, you yeah. got your hairpiece on, the whole yeah, nine yards, yeah. you jumping around. But I turn into characters. Like, that was my thing. I love yeah. to do soul music legends. That's my thing, because most cats can't do that. So I try to sing like all those old R&B legends that are sometimes forgotten, sometimes they're still here. But one of the main ones is the one that we're going to do the November 26th, the iconic, the impressionable, the, the, the trendsetter himself, the great. <laughs> James Brown, but I ain't oh, let you. Yeah, the hey, we ready for that, Set right? Set the up. I'm talking. Here, here, yeah, yeah, here? yeah. I went yeah. off. You said, okay, okay. Set it up, and I'm so set it up. You I'm got so, the questions okay. for him, okay, Jamie. So what okay. was it like being on the Johnny Carson show? Wait, wait, wow, you there you go, baby. The can you, can you repeat like, that? Because I don't think yeah, the, we heard what, what you. What was it like being on the Johnny Carson show? You know show? what? And that, that came in prompt, too. I, I, I did a gig, and it was a free gig, too, at Howard University across that street. Hey. And the lady told me, come down, because Bill Cosby's going to be here. And I went, and uh, I was doing my act, and I put Ollie and James Brown, and I did Joe Frazier. I was, Joe Frazier's such ugly, he's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ to be pretty like me. And then when I did Joe, that got me on the cause because he said, Joe Frazier's out there. And it said, ladies and gentlemen, a compliment from Joe Frazier. And Joe Frazier, well, I feel pretty good, you know. He's talking about, call me a gorilla, call me everything I live with tonight, I'm going to whip him. You know what I mean? So they didn't understand you, Joe. And of course, when Cosby saw him, oh my God, you're great. You've got to come on. I got Johnny next week. I'm gonna fly out. I got free tickets, and that was before the scandals. And oh, I don't yes, want to start it, yes, Mr. Cosby. Yes. I know they say he put little things in drinks and things. <laughs> Look, I love him, and I, they say he's been exonerated. So I'm happy about that. Is that but the right? man sent oh, me right. two tickets. I didn't have an agent. I didn't have none. Me and the guy from Two Two Seven were on there together. What? And it was fascinating. What? I sat back in the back with Dick Van Patten <laughs> and Terry Gar and wow. had a wonderful time. So that let me know at least I can hang yes. with these people. Yes, okay. yes. And But he did give me some gigs with B.B. King and Bobby Blue Bland. What? I stayed with them for two years, and I worked with Gladys Knight and B.B. King. So wow. that set me up for some nice things. 
And wow, but Denise, you know, we you, the Carson you just, thing. Just, but it could have went more <laughs> if I'd have sat on the couch. Maybe my life would have been a little bigger. And but I'm not mad. I feel great. I'm just glad for the opportunity. That's all right. Okay. You're doing some okay. fabulous things. Thank my you. goodness, you, what? Yeah, she's cool. She's Can we good. name somebody? Right. What about? Did you do Ali? Wait a well, minute. Well, yeah, I just did him. He's iconic. I met him every time he come to town. Where's the little fella? A little black coat cell, because Ali represented a lot of the cats in the '70s. Yes, you know, before did. the dreads, the Bob Marley. In the dragged pants, cause see, the, the 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 mindset is a little different, and I'm not knocking it. I love Tupac, love Biggie, but we all we had was James Brown. Hey, yeah. Ali, <laughs> the man's too ugly. Joe Frazier, we had uh, the Timber. I know you won't leave in Motown. We had all of that. Several. I believe that we have a dream today. You know, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, da, 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 da. we grew up, you know, on the you know, the Flintstones and all of that, oh, you know, my. but we very rarely saw a black artist on TV, especially. All we saw the first, there was one black actor in the 60s and 70s. His was? name was Sidney Portier. Oh, then, we had, then we had Sam Jackson. We got all these beautiful actors down there. But back then, why, mama, mama, look at me. Look at for what I am. <laughs> I got a, a patch in blue. And uh, give me that other. You know, yeah, I mean, Sidney just took care of everything. He was like the super ultimate Negro at the time. But I loved him. But he represented as well. But boy, after Shaf and Super, Fred is dead. <laughs> with Fred Wilson and all that. It changed the game a little bit. So with Ali and Fred Wilson and Gladys, whoop, whoop. I'm just going fast. I'm just, Ooh, you know. we love it. But then, what? you know, hip-hop. Hip-hop is based off the rhythms of the great James Brown. I'm, no, I'm skipping know, history. Yeah, yeah, that's right. His scream, that's a scream of passion. Oh when my. a soul man scream, not only James Otis Redden, ow, 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 Love and happiness. <laughs> See, that's a soul feeling. See, the I'm feeling. Feel it, I'm feeling. That, 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 I, know I want the young right? cats to try to recreate. I love Anthony Hamilton and John. John Legend going another. Ooh. I don't want to lie. You know, he like takes soul and take it to an opera. He lie. But back then we had Billy Stewart who had an epileptic way yes, of singing soul. I mean, he's singing like. So he had an epileptic. He you know, sure we had Gene Chandler, the Duke of Earl, going, whoa, ha, whoa, ha, zoo. You know, the Duke, 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 Duke. See, I'm like Robin Williams. I'm just pushing oh, the button. Oh, yes. Whoop, yuck, yuck. We, we, we grew up on the th I'm going too far. We grew up on the Three Stooges. If you went home and hit your little brother in the head with a hammer, you would have killed him. The Three Stooges were bad influences. Y'all making me laugh there. But okay, let's get back. Let's get back. Okay. 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 What? You got to Okay. Okay. Papa had all the more. No, that's another. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know okay. I know you okay. had to do a bomber, right? right. Please. Okay. You get a president yes, Obama in there. Can you well, get that I, one? You know, I know you I, You know, I, I tried, you know, Did I you know, because he's got that drawl and he <laughs> take a half an hour, you know. Really uh well we <laughs> well, really what was appreciate what you done? I, you know, I can't get. I, you know, I can't, it's hard. You just I couldn't. Think you did a good. You know, yeah, right. yeah, I just yeah. can't. You know, you know, you yes, know. I got right. Sterling Shop. You remember Sterling Shop? You, you know, you know what? You know what I think? You know, you know, Colin Kaepernick. You know, he did a great thing, but you know, if he's not gonna stand up for the thag skip, <laughs> you know, on, on, on the, if he's not gonna stand up for the thag skip, he be spitting on you. You know what skip? You know, I, uh, me and my brother, we got, grew up in a little tin camp camp house. And me and my mom, we ain't have no firewood or nothing. But you know, and I got a white wife now. But I mean, you know, <laughs> Sterling Sharp. But anyway, yeah, I just threw that in there. I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I gotta well, get this in there. We had to book him everywhere because I'm thank, telling you, thank you, you ain't gonna get yeah. nothing done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun. Woo. I'm having Pat. You be taking Woo. pictures. He you is be, too much. You, whatever you do, you are very pictures. smart. Yeah. She I'm she went in that book. Yeah, well, well, I hope I, I can plug this book. book. Yeah, just, we can plug the book. And what's the name of the book? The book. 
I like that. See, we have <laughs> Skip, Skip over skip there. Skip is in the house. Skip, you this have to come book. over here, Skip. No, yes, Skip, you got to. Yeah, come over here and get on the end, Skip, and stand behind this, us. Get yes, up here. man. Over here, he over there. He the one that got me out of bed. Okay, the history of stand-up comedy. In the, what is in the late, sweet, you sweet lady over there. This is the history of um, huh. stand-up comedy in the nation's capital. It's um, it's done by a colleague of mine by by the name of Andy Evans, and he calls himself the um, comedy counselor. And um, he does uh, colleges all around. He's very well known in Howard University and many places. But him and Chris Thomas, the one that did BT, he was the mayor of something. I forgot the name of the show. I'm sorry, Chris. I can't put him and Donnie Simpson, all of these guys in here. Tommy hey, Davidson. We did the Ibexes up the street, <laughs> way up the street, yeah. the penthouse. I did. I just want you to know the kind of show. Ed Murphy had me do a show what? with Donny Hathaway oh and mm -hmm. Phyllis Hyman. Oh I mean, my this, goodness! I mean, what? he thought it out. I mean, I had Peter Green on. Hey, hey, boy, come here. We're gonna be and doing. Got a show for you. <laughs> I mean, I was doing stuff like that in my twenties. Man, I was on with Legend. I had to hold my own. I ain't had no band and nothing. I used right. to, have, oh, I'm coming out. You know, <laughs> OJ's da da sweetest. <laughs> I'm open for the whispers. The OJ's, wow. Patty Labelle. What? I, oh man. I, See, I work with Dimensions Unlimited. That way, I didn't have to go out with bands and struggle. That I ain't do no comedy you didn't club. Even need a and I'm band. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry that I left my guys because they left me. And look at the Tommy is on Living Color. I don't know if I could have done something. Oh, with they was, you know that because I'm right. more, more yeah, aggressive. Was, more yes. But I love Tommy Davidson. Mm -hmm. I love Chris Thomas. Dave Chappelle was a Chris little Tucker. cat. Used to come Chris down. Tucker? He knew Mousy. Him and Mousy went to school together. Oh yes. Mousy. But he came to the show. But James Brown used to open with Wilson Pickett. Oh my Al Green, what? all these cats. What? I won't uh, uh, Rick James. He was. Rick? Uh, oh Rick my God. Nah, nah. So, so <laughs> just knowing you can hold your own and then Frank and Beverly come back and say, who is that cat? Yeah. Um, right. Patty right. stopped the show. Bill Clinton and Hillary came to oh the show. Wow. And I thought they were clapping for Frank me, but they were clapping for Bill and his. Oh. The president's out there. Oh, Thank you. Know. I ain't said nothing yet. But Bill and them, you know, so they get, you know. But I mean, those are some great moments. Over for the okay. Temptation Reunion, my great wow. man, Sugar Ray Leonard, because yeah, I would have been yes. a fighter if I wouldn't have tried this. Anything to get out, you know, my right, condition. Right, well. I can Thank you, Skip. At least you're standing there now. Yeah, you know, um, I got him out. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you know. <laughs> so I'm I appreciate every... it, Greg, for yeah. coming here, okay? Okay, I thank y'all. Really and, you, you know, I just wanted to get everything in, boy, where I had a chance. Cause yeah. that, you, and I love the energy y'all give me the opportunity. Thank but the Carson thing, because nobody knew that. I'm one of the few that got that opportunity. Right. It might have been a big opportunity, but I believe if Johnny would have been the Johnny. host of the building, not Put Bill down, but Bill was hosting for right. but, but but Johnny called back and said, "Who is that guy?" You know, because the time ran out. Exactly. It's right, like I was right. in the middle, like a little. What? Know what yeah, me and Terry said, sure. "What happened, what Greg?" Right. <laughs> you know? But then it flew me out. My first wow. plane ride was on a seven forty seven. So wow. you know, I was spoiled after that. Okay. Well, yeah. Greg, you're coming out to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just but there's some more. Did the Apollo. We did everything. Uh -huh. So, so this you, go like, you go like living history. Yeah. Well, I like to think so. Comedy in D.C. Me and Chuck Brown uh, used to do holes in the walls together. He yes. had the soul searches. I started out with a young man in a band, Curtis Pope. He w became Wilson Pickett's um, band uh -huh. director. Yeah. My guitar answer. player was named Skip <laughs> Pitts. He's oh, known yes. for doing shaft. Right. Now, if you can if, imagine, I mean, this is the kind of guys I had in my band okay. opening before I Chuck and, uh -huh. you know, the Manhattans and them come on. So yeah. I'm feeling good. Guys remember me. They always call me that guy, the guy with the voices. So okay. that's uh -huh. it. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah. You're just something else. Pat Thank you. Dugan, you are, but you are everywhere. You be taking pictures of everybody and everything. Yes. This lady is a lady on the scene. And this wonderful lady, I love her personality. Wow. She, said, it's, it's all right. she came out and said, Greg, come in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Skip. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so tell us oh, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, about yeah, my yeah, man Greg. Okay, so, yeah, well, we're going we, we, to talk about the show. Coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All okay. right. If you could you put the flyer up. Okay. Put the flyer up on the show. Have, we, have they seen the flyer for the show? I didn't see. Did you send the flyer? Got, yeah, I did. I <laughs> Just said, now? I sent it with the attachment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is there a flyer okay. in there? I didn't see a yeah. flyer. Flyer, oh. attachment of the show. I didn't see a flyer. 
Yeah, but yeah. it's okay. Talk about it. We're going to see yeah, this. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah. Mousy Thompson and the yeah. James Brown experience <laughs> coming up at Bethesda Blues and Jazz. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving weekend, wow. Saturday, Ooh. after the turkey. Yes. Dance the turkey. Okay. Off. Okay, because I know you're going to have a big meal and you want to dance and get it off. <laughs> okay. Saturday, okay. November 26th. Six. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. And then what else? Yes. Well, I'm going to be in the and, house. So yeah, I'm going to yeah. be in town. Pat is okay, always, okay yeah, so supportive. Patricia, you're going to be yes. taking photos that night, uh-huh. right? Right. Uh-huh. Like you always do. You've got some yes. good photos for us. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's right. And it's gonna, the, the doors open at 6 p.m. Okay. okay. So that means get there early. Uh-huh. Okay, get a nice dinner. We got dinner seats. Yeah. And we got a nice stage, beautiful stage. For those of you all who haven't been to Bethesda Blues and Jazz, it's a beautiful place mm-hmm. with right. a nice big stage. Mm-hmm. And, of course, when we're doing James Brown, right, mm-hmm. Greg? Yeah. Got to have a dance floor. Got to have a dance okay? floor. Okay, got a people. big, beautiful it's dance like floor. Kind of like the old school cabaret. It does. Remember how we used to do the cabarets where we had the tables and the dinner, and you had a nice big stage, and the band would come on, everybody be dancing. That's what it's like. And Skip, not to cut you off, but that aspect right there, it's such a beautiful thing when the people do that. Because while the band is cooking on stage, the people are down on the floor. They're actually dancing and joining. And yeah. Yes. and I know that you appreciate it when you yeah. got a uh, yeah. audience in front of you dancing. Yeah. And yeah. you showed the videos earlier. You yeah. could see, you yeah. know, some of the dancing that was going on there yeah. during the show. Right. So it's going right. to be a really, really big show. We're Mousy excited, Thompson, yeah. who's from D.C. and used to be the drummer for James there Brown. There you go. Right. 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 So he uh-huh. is. Okay. Uh-huh. He is the right. uh, uh-huh. last drummer for James, James Brown. Brown. The and last 13 years of James Brown's, Brown's life. Career. Right. Mousy Thompson was the drummer. Right. So Mousy uh-huh. knows the music. Yes, he does. Better than anybody uh-huh. being the drummer for James Brown. That's yeah. a big position. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, that means you're right there and you know the music, you know the beat, you know the groove. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And Mousy's assembled a band that is a stellar band. Uh-huh. Local players in D.C. were all great musicians. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And they play Chap- with other. Yes. Know, these are these are cats is, yeah. that play mm-hmm. with yeah. other great musicians. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So Mousey Mal- mm-hmm. is a similar all-star band. Yes, he has. Including yeah. Eugene Chapman, just to drop a few names. Yeah. Right. Lenny Harris. Right. Shout out to all of you all. Right. And he's got, these are the horn section. So yeah. we got a nice horn section. Right. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You that got, me, you got yeah, to have a horn me, section when you're doing James Brown. Make me get that feeling. But of course. Get a good Up feeling. front on the microphone yeah. is Mr. Greg Cooper. He is and I want to say that. Okay. And uh, he can else. do you know, the James Brown. Well, and he I want to talk look. about that for a minute because Brown is, like I said, an innovator. He's a force to be reckoned with. He started soul. He started the whole rhythm, the downbeat. You know, that scream is in more rap music. Hey! <laughs> Good God! You know, the attitude of the man. He kept me confident <laughs> when I wasn't confident. Him and Ollie kept me busy. But yes. his, the rhythm of the man. See, he had to go up against guys like the Temptation, Good Looking Smokey Robinson, Sam Cooke, Al Green, and Otis Ray. But the man's will to give you a good show, the right. vision and his energy. I want to mm-hmm. recapture that, and I think I do. The audience makes me feel oh, yeah, that I do. do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I want yeah. y'all to come out and you, you, how to say it, you be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Skip, well, I don't You got the come. look, you got yeah. the voice. Yeah. Man, the I have peace. On stage. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> And a good headpiece. My daughter rolls it up. We curl it. I got a couple of more wigs coming in. I want yes, to yes. James keep the wigs get, coming. Get that hair. <laughs> you gotta get that hair right. <laughs> you yes, know, and that yes, grunt, yes, that yes. grunt, that yes. soul grunt that come out of Georgia right. and Alabama. Right. And uh, you know, I feel pretty good. And uh, you know, for the people of humanity, I want to do things for humanity. When James said, you know, help humanity and help all people around the world. <laughs> The world. He don't say world. He said round the world. That's right. And that's, uh, right. that's what it do. So yeah. please come out November yeah. twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tickets only twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Okay. Yeah. And we got that. plenty of great seats available. Mm-hmm. So 
We're going to keep it moving, but Mr. Greg Cooper, thank you for coming. Thank out. you, man. You got me up. I had a little thing last night. <laughs> but Pat McDougal, all these wonderful ladies and yourself, <laughs> I'm motivated. I'm had, I have fun. And uh, thank you. And even the technician back in the back, man, he's working himself. Yes, to he death. does a also, great job. I acknowledge everybody. And I, I'm just so happy to be here. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Thank you, Greg. Well, thank we're going to, um, yes. Thank yeah. you, Skip. Well, we're going to move right along. But okay. we, I just want to ask a question. You have a picture there. What is that picture? Well, that's just my little. Oh, PR, okay. PR okay. Book. Uh, a little bio. Is that you? She was, she was smart enough. Oh, she my. went in it and read yeah. it. She mentioned the Johnny Carson. Wow. And so I forgot about picture. it. I, yeah, yeah look, see? Yeah, you asked him for the picture. Here it goes. Yeah, thank you, Pat. Look, thank you. Look, ain't Pat. Pat. And the history of stand up comedy. Stand-up comedy by so Andy good. Evans. You can by get Andy it on Evans. Amazon. Oh, right. And it, man, it's got Jackie Moms, Maybelline, mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle, Teddy Carpenter, every history. comedian that ever graced a uh, D.C. stage and mm-hmm. beyond wow. is mentioned in this book. Okay. So get okay. that book. Right. Yeah. So get that book. But okay. we're going to move. You stay okay. right there. You're okay. going to stay right there All right. Okay. and join us. Okay. Right. But we want to move Thank along. You. We're going to talk about um, the protests and uh, the watches, the watch parties we had in the D.C. area. The election, mm-hmm. which is what everybody's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so let's talk about yeah. the election. We have some p- photos. We were also well, you we were on at, the inside, um, so Patricia, as you always are. I was on the major inside. Event. Yes, yeah. We were going to talk about Joe, but we're going to move on to election because we have Skip here. And we want to move with that. If that's no. okay. So we, tell us a little bit about the, about the watch parties, Denise. Well, we went to the watch party at Claudia's this weekend, <coughs> uh, this past week, and mm-hmm. watched it with Donald Temple. Oh, well, this uh, one here was actually at Howard. this one okay. we went to, which with the women round uh, mm-hmm. table, the black women's round table with um, mm-hmm. some women that we attended with. Dr. Um, sure Barbara right. Skinner, mm-hmm. William Skinner was there with <coughs> us this uh, was at, the, at the watch party. Then uh-huh. we went to Claudia's and watched the, um, we had a watch party at Claudia's restaurant with uh, attorney Donald Temple and his crew. Mm-hmm. And, we were just and all over. Yeah. And then yeah. after that, we went over to the um, Washington <coughs> uh, mm-hmm. Women's National Democratic Club. Right, right, right. And right. we were able to watch uh, the remainder of the election there. Mm-hmm. And it was very emotional. Right. You know, yeah. at the Women Democratic Club, it was very, very and emotional. This is at yeah. the. Uh, your buddy. There's Tommy yeah. Hart. Tom Hart. <laughs> Hart. Right, yeah. Tom Hart was Wonderful there with us, and he hung out here, uh, and his lovely yeah. wife, Norma mm-hmm. Hart. Yes. And uh, we. Uh, and were that's where the insiders talk. in the D.C. Uh, the Women's scene. Democratic Club. Yeah, this is the D.C. Club. area. Yeah. Especially right. with there. women leaders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So Pat and I were fortunate okay. to be yeah. there with a lot of the women and <coughs> watch the uh, mm-hmm. results come in, which were quite interesting. And yeah. as you know, um, mm-hmm. uh, Donald Trump is now the new. Uh, Elected president. Okay. He's not sworn in yet, so he's still elected. He's just elected, is uh, he? Is that right? Just elected. Yeah, you want to elaborate on that? In. No, that's correct. Until Inauguration Day, President <laughs> uh, Obama is still the president. president. So he's got two more months left. That's yeah. right. Any yeah. chance yeah. of anything changing? Nah. Well, you I never know with Donald Trump. Somebody <laughs> went on TV. Who was it? I well, you know, the situation. You know. Okay, I think that's when it turned, when Trump won North Carolina, Carolina. and Florida. Yeah. You think that yes. was What was the mood in that uh Place the Democratic <laughs> Women's Club who were looking forward to the first woman president. What yeah. was the mood? After well, the that? mood was very energized. Every, yeah, every, everywhere we went, from from Howard to the to the you know the second the restaurant to mm-hmm. everywhere we went. Mm-hmm. But inside of um, the Women Democratic Club, they walked in there very positive. They had the champagne bottles, everything going. Right. And right at the end of the day, mm-hmm. what? It was not like that. They were crying. They didn't want to interview. They didn't want to talk. They were very upset. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it was because these are the, some of the people that know Hillary Clinton. And so that yes. is, yeah, that's right. Yes, they They're do. The power they of the sister stuff. vote, especially at the Women Democratic Club. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a little video we could show a little bit about <coughs> okay. it yeah, um, if we can. Yeah. And then we have some it. protests because oh, you know been, now they're protesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see the video. Yeah, we'll put the, yes. yeah. the protest that you. <coughs> went down to. Yeah. I'm just showing some stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, we'll, we'll show some if we can. Yeah, until we get to the video. I yeah, just like, like to say, right make a statement, yeah. just because on, on your show, we were urging people to vote mm-hmm. right. every week. Every week. At the week. end of the show, we'd say, right. please go out there and vote, please. We were, Even yes. in this area in Virginia, it was looking real close, and Hillary pulled it out mm-hmm. at the end, thanks right. to Northern Virginia. Right. Let's see, go back. But we now, oh, here we go with the video. With the protest. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, these are the protesters, the young people, wow. the millennials, as we call them, that came out because they were not having it. Right. They, President they, Trump. They, right. However, we must make note of the fact that the millennials, millennials did not turn out in this election as much as mm -hmm. they did for President Obama. Mm -hmm. No, they did not. So yeah. protesting is good. Mm -hmm. But I think they learned a lesson about when it comes time to vote, they need got to get to out there, that right? Vote, no matter yes. if you were inspired by the candidate or not, right? Because I know a lot of them weren't inspired mm -hmm. by Hillary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now they see the result if you don't show up. Yeah, right. We now see full well what the consequences are. Correct. So for right. protesting is fine, but voting mm -hmm. is what makes it happen. Of course, in the end. that's right. Bottom line. So now yeah. we've learned that lesson the hard way mm -hmm. with President Elect Trump. So, so they're saying that a lot of folks didn't come out and vote. Yeah, not yeah, as much as uh, with when Obama was running. Wow. It was clear wow. that we wow. uh, lost, you know, people, uh, 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 a mm -hmm. lot of young people in particular, the percentage of mm -hmm. their vote was not as high as it was during Obama. And right. let me tell you a couple other things. What percent? Yeah. Stayed on there? Right, which was less right. than, right. yeah, it yeah. was it was over 50% when Obama was running. Mm -hmm. Wow. And let me tell you a couple other uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, poll results of the uh, exit polls. Mm -hmm. Black men voted for Donald Trump 13%. Really? Whoa. Okay, wow. now just wow. think about that. Mm. Black <coughs> you know, black women mm -hmm. only voted voted for Hillary 96% mm -hmm. to less than whatever for mm -hmm. Trump, mm -hmm. 4%. So black women turned out in this election for Hillary. They wow. tried to save single-handedly yeah. because white women voted for mm -hmm. Trump. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Latino women, it was about thirty percent for Trump, which was a lot higher than people thought. thought. They thought the Latinos were gonna come out against him mm -hmm. in huge numbers, but it right. did not happen. Wow, that's crazy. So this is why this election was lost. Yeah. Okay. It's it wasn't sad. just the white working class vote, which everybody's mm -hmm. talking about. Right. It was the fact that on our side, mm -hmm. we came up short. Right. I mean, think about that. Black men, 13%. That, that's like one out of every seven or eight black men. Black guys. You go out there, one of them voted for Trump. Trump. Wow. Get out of here. Wow. Okay, so we think we have the, all this solidarity, but well, yeah. a few of us. Well, Skip. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to ask you, what is the silent ma Who are the silent majority? Well, first of all, uh, it's not a majority because Hillary yeah. did win the popular vote. That's uh, right. Okay, okay. so yeah. they, they still don't have a majority. Yeah. If, okay. if we, mm -hmm. if the Obama coalition, which includes... Mm -hmm. Young people mm -hmm. of all backgrounds, mm -hmm. black folk, Latinos, mm -hmm. uh, women, younger women, and single women, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because, and that includes all women, and especially the strongest support for the Obama coalition, for Hillary, for any progressive that's running, mm -hmm. is black women, okay? Right. That's okay. by well, far. That's, right. Sisters are always, I mean, this is historical. Yes, it is. Sisters yeah. of all, even when they've been in the background of the no civil rights movement, that. they've always been the one, the troops on the ground. Right. Mm -hmm. They've always had the back mm -hmm. of the men. Yeah. And yeah. they, yeah, and in the elections, they were the strongest group that supported Hillary by far. Wow. Black okay. women showed up know. Wow. in big numbers, okay? Wow. Yeah. Right. Especially okay. the, you know, the older black women <laughs> right. and even the younger black women, I right. think, understood a little more right. they knew what, what the coming. stakes were in this election. Okay. Wow. But, you know, black men, 13% for I mean, Trump. Yeah, I mean, really? That's, that's killing me, man. Yeah. I really? can't believe that, yeah. man. That might have made a difference in a couple of them states. It, it could have, but you know what? Black guys, yeah. huh? But in the bottom line. Some, like one out, of, one out of eight. You know, but the bottom line I is. I can't believe it. The bottom line is this. Okay. We got to get ready. I mean, we're doing the protests yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Unless yeah. they, something's going to change the whole right. equation, you know, we have to accept him and we not we don't need to burn down a place because, you know, he's the president. <laughs> yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But uh, sure. it's going to be an yeah. interesting, uh, how you say, transition. Yes. And yeah. then you're going to yeah. see when they have, um, what is it, when they have the inauguration, right? It's gonna be. It's gonna be different. Definitely oh, there's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be protests during the inauguration. You I think guarantee. so? Oh, Absolutely. oh yeah. Because look, let's be real. Man, he got Giuliani uh, as a oh, potential. Yeah. Oh, attorney just general. And, and, and just and they don't even want to claim him as the president. I mean, they're right, walking the young all people over DC are yeah. now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, now now that the Democrats lost the election, the leadership of the oh. party and the progressive movement is wide open. The Clintons are gone. They're gone. Yeah. Everybody's okay, gone. Okay, they are now gone from the right. scene. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Clinton Foundation, they no can do return. that private yeah. thing. They're right. done. Right. Yeah. Right. President Obama still has a role because he's a former president. That's right. And he's still, his popularity is high. Right. Yes. Yes. Well, Clinton okay. is one. That's good. Considering. 
So okay. he's going to have a voice, but he's not the future. Right. So there's going to be some future leadership coming up right. behind this election. Right. Uh, they're already talking about the head of the Democratic Party is going to be a black man. Uh, what? Is that right? Yes. Okay. So okay. they're already talking, and he's a very progressive from okay. Minnesota. Uh, okay. Uh, and so they're already going to be talking about some changes and some younger people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think the leader of the mm-hmm. Democratic Party in the next election, and not just the presidential election, okay. but we got to focus on the House and the Senate. Right. Mm-hmm. You That's know, right. we can't just show up on the presidential election. Right. We got to focus on the governors, <laughs> the state houses, because right. this is where the Republicans are really, you yeah. know, right. Yeah. Right. won elections, and now we've seen the results of it. So. Well, I tell you. We just have to but get brace more ourselves determined. and get ready and, exactly. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a new yeah. regime, a new. So the good, yeah. the good news mm-hmm. is there's going to be new leadership. That's right. That's the right. old leadership is now going to oh. disappear from the scene, yeah. and we got a whole bunch of new leaders coming up. What does that say? Get ready. But we have a couple more things we want to talk about very okay. briefly, even though we want to keep that, in the, you know going. Um, we was at a couple events this weekend. Miss Denise can tell us all about it. So can we uh, show Joe um, and then maybe kind yeah, of just show Thursday the pictures night, and stuff uh, that we were at this week? A friend of mine uh, actually oh. came into Reddick? town, Carol Riddick, uh-huh. friend of mine, background singer for Will Downing. Mm-hmm. Has wow. Will Downing is on her new project mm-hmm. as well, and it's been going up on the charts. Okay. Oh, and uh, <laughs> so we were happy there to support uh, Carol. The WHUR and, sponsored uh, she's it. From, she came in all the way from Philadelphia. Okay. Okay. It was sponsored okay. by Oh, that WHUR. was a Bethesda Blues and Jazz. Yes. And it yes. was it an invite-only nice. event. Yes. And so we were very fortunate that Carol made sure so we were Joe. there. And he worked and the room. And Joe hey. worked the room. Did As he work the see. room? Did he Is work the girl? room? Okay. Lord yes. have mercy. Look Joe at was that. in the he house. He was all over the room. He hey. was doing his thing. He was doing his thing all over the place. And he was just a gracious Gracious, mm-hmm. gracious person. And Tony, and he was in the Tony house. Richards. Yep. Tony yep. Richards. Tony Richards at H-U-R oh, okay. was, was there. He was doing his thing. We were all up in there. We were just having too much fun. Joe That's Gore. all I'm going to hey, say. Joe Gore, man. Back, back, back. They had everybody was yeah. there. Look at Joe. He yeah. represented yeah. that name. Joe, Joe was yeah. representing it in the house. <laughs> that's yeah. right. They Joe were all Angela up in there. Angela Stribling. Yes, that's right. you are. Yeah. And look at this. How about All that? Right. Tell me the lady on the right. There you go. Yeah. And that's, that's oh, me Ms. again. Maggie. You know, I got to show one. Miss Maggie, right? Yeah. You know, I had to put her okay. out there. Yeah. Micheline yeah. in the house. Look at her. Doing her thing. How about Who's that? He's a tall gentleman. Yeah. He he's is. With he's with WHUR okay. too, as well. H-U-R yeah. As so, well. so we're going to show some other pictures as well. Can we move yeah. to the next, next set of one. pictures very briefly? Yes, because we nice. did a couple of events. Um, it was it. Um, is the praise one right? Yeah. We did. We went to see the festival of praise. My Correct. longtime friend and mm-hmm. uh, um, from from high school in in New York, uh, Donnie McClurkin with Fred Hammond oh. and uh, oh. Hezekiah Walker. Festival Walkway of praise. Here. That's right. And it was festival of praise, and it's uh, Angela <coughs> Robinson, <coughs> and then there's Bishop Hezekiah Walker, right. Fred Hammond. Right. Um, and uh, Angela's and, in the house. Angela's in the house. Yes. Myself. And, and that was the praise Regina Bell, on. Yes. Uh, KCJ. Uh, mm-hmm. Where was, was that there. located? And that was at the uh, Constitution, Constitution Hall. Right. Uh-huh. Wow. And that's Fred. And Fred was trying to take take Pat home with her. Uh, I don't know about all of that. I tell you. loving that Pat. <laughs> 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 that's what Denise said. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, and has yeah, Bishop yeah. Hezekiah Walker. And he's going to join us on our show in a yes, couple weeks. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. Is he is. from this area? Is that he Regina? Is from New York, Brooklyn, New York. Okay. And right. Regina Bell and oh, Pastor yeah. Donnie McClurkin. Donnie McClurkin. They was up wow, in the house. Wow, what a show. Wasn't it? Was it was a oh great my. show. I we had a great time. We had some video. And, you know, um... Karen Clark Sheard was also right. on the show. So we really had a good time at that show. Yes. Now, c- yes, can we just move it to uh, the D.C. Kitchen Fight very briefly? Mm-hmm. And then come to move very briefly across. Um, we did so much. It's just endless, yes. right? Even though we're short for time, we might You're not be able to show it. always on the scene if we could just show. <laughs> yes, I am always yeah. on the scene. We're hoping to get on the scene today. Uh-huh. We're working on that. Okay. The D.C. Uh, okay. Who's performing food tonight? Fight. Oh, we were at, uh, oh, yes. Can we show um, the D.C. Kitchen, kitchen Food Fight, if we can? Very yeah. briefly, because so that was really we nice. we attended yeah. the D.C. Uh, kitchen Food Fight for Charities, mm-hmm. and it was held at the Reagan Building. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. And, and Denise had me eating all kind of stuff. Oh my God. Boy oysters. Uh, oysters. <laughs> oysters. <laughs> oh, and she was slurping it down <laughs> with that <laughs> hot sauce. That looked like mustard on it. With okay. the hot sauce on it. So okay. it was well it was attended. Crowded. There was a it lot of foundations where they have name up in there. a venerable foundation. That was yeah, the, Kaiser. the Kaiser Permanente Foundation. Okay. Reagan Bill and too. the MGM people yes. were in the house. MGM, okay. yep, representing. So they were representing, and they have some new hotels and properties there. New opening is December. December 8th coming up here. So they're opening up with Bruno Mars. Yeah. Wow. Where and is that he's going to be at the mm-hmm. National Harbor right. on December 8th. At the MGM. At yes. the new MGM that's mm-hmm. opening wow. on the 8th. And then they also have coming in um, Lionel Richie. And oh. Cher yes. is coming right. in to perform Cher. as wow. well wow. as and, um, uh, Boys to Men. Yes. Yes. Be there. And then my good friend, the... Uh, the, the oh Pat. That's all right. No. We gonna, this, we ain't gonna get no, names no, no, up in no, here, no, but no, 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 no. performing will be Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, oh yes, okay. yes. So, so Verdine, look out! I'm calling you. Hey, we get ready. Yeah, <laughs> throw it out there. Now we show one more if we have time. I want to show the news about the, um, the classic R&B weekend because I'm going to be there wow. this weekend, yes. um, and that's going to be live. Okay, that's going to be at Hershey, Pennsylvania, November 18th to the wow. 20th, okay. and that's the 10th annual classic R&B weekend. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. Enchantment, Alexander. Neil, the floaters. Oh. I'm going to be the photographer. The Temptations, Harold wow. Melvin, be blue. Harold Melvin, blue notes. Wow. Alice and Williams. We gonna have to try to get oh, you up man. there, right? What you think, yeah, right? What? Yeah. They got all them cats up in there. Yeah. So you know, we yeah. want to give yeah. a shout yeah. out. I will be in the house taking pictures. Yes, yeah. yeah, she will be there with the wow. photographer. Yes, I will actually. If you want some photos, uh, personal, so we're trying to get some of the artists. And this is in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And we're heading up to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Day. Wow. So okay. um, if you want something to do, that is the place nice to, to be. Okay. be. So anyway, I want to thank you for coming thank on. Thank you, Stephen. Right. Thank All you right. as well. Nice and no, and I want to say thank everybody for listening in at um, every yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Patricia you, McDougal thank on you. the scene representing. I yeah. love. Thank you, yeah. Denise, yeah. as well. You're welcome. Doing thank a lot you. of things. And stay tuned. We'll sh- a lot of people. Thank you so much. And we'll show some pictures, you know, on the Facebook page. That's right. What a woman. I'm sure we got that too. This was supposed to be a sort of short, intimate set. (laughs) Not a concert. I don't mind, trust me, I I love performing. But I don't want y'all to get tired of me and give you a full show and you're like, I just seen that show last month. You're good, you're good. I want you to keep coming time and time and time again. Bring your family. I try to keep it PG. You know, I'm stuck in the 90s and the late 80s and some, you know. That might be a little gyration. I'm only doing that for the grown and sexy ladies out there.